In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can create an app that can generate unlimited games for you. So you can play any game anytime with just single app. And we are gonna create this app using the MIT App Inventor. So here we go. So first of all, open the website ai2.appinventor.mit.edu. Then click on new project and just type your project name as unlimited games. So that's my app name. Okay. Now, you can see this is our main screen. Now, we need to generate a game so we can play. Okay, so how we can do this? So, we required here two extensions. First one is TCB Xamini Vault, and another extension is Custom Bad View extension. So, first of all, let's design this for the screen here. Okay, so in the left side, you will see here the option of layout, just user interface. Let's click on the layout, and I'm going to just make that vertical arrangement. Okay. And I need here one more. I need one button here and I need one text box. Okay, left side, just try and drop this. So in the text box, we can write any games here. And in that word arrangement, we are going to display the games. Okay, so you can play that game. So make that word arrangement hide and where it is fill parent like this. Okay, and uh, in the bottom, click on that text box and make that font thrive at least 20. And make that in like with is something 70%. Okay. Now let's click on that screen and make align the thing is like center and center. And now click on that button and just change the text to create game like this. Now make it bold. Okay. And now here you can just design that button according to your requirement. Like let me just custom go here. Just scroll like this make that uh, create button you can change the background color as as you want like okay so let me just make it darker like this cool now we have that button create game we have one text box where we can type the game or you can just add here placeholder or you can just add here the hint okay like create game something like this now what we need to do here we need to require to extension right so i'm going to download it open the new tab search here pcb xamini bot extension okay you can see this is the extension so i'll give you the link in the description okay so we need to download that extension you can see this is the ai files click on this now we have downloaded it now let's do one more thing let's download upon more extension called custom web view web view extension okay and I'm going to use here the GitHub link, okay, to download AIX file. Go here and just, this is the AIX file. You can download it, like click on three dot and just download this. Cool. Now we have two extensions. Go to the MIT App Inventor and upload both extensions, okay. So click on that extension option. Click on import extension. Click on choose file. Now I'm going to upload that custom web view extension. Now I'm going to just import the TCB Xamni bot extension. Now I'm going to just drag and drop TCB bot and the uh, custom web view. Okay, just drag and drop them like this first and custom web view. Now we have two extensions. Okay, now first of all, let's set up the TCB Xamni. So go to the block here and whenever a screen will in a slice. Okay, so in this slice like this, click on the TCB Xamni bot. You can see the option of set API key. We need to call this. So how we can get an API key? So open the new tab and just search here. AI Studio. So aistudio.google.com. This is the website. Now click on the create API key. Or uh, you can see the create API key in new project. Click on this. And this generation API key is start and done. Copy that API key. Go to App Inventor. Select the text. And just paste it here. And just like this. Cool. Now we have an API key here. Now you can see, click on the test, TCB Xamarin board. You can see the send questions. Okay. I'm going to call this method, but how we can call it. So whenever someone click on the button one, so we need to call this method. Okay. The question is, suppose we have asked something like in a text box. Okay. So I'm going to just use here the text box one dot text. Okay. But the thing is that one more thing, let me just show you one. Let me just get the text box one dot text here first. Okay. This one. So this is our question, but before uh, sending the question, I'm going to write one more thing. Okay. That's the static thing that uh, user can't see this okay we can only see the blood developers you can see just drag this and just click on text and add one more here and just say here create this app in 
HTML, JS, and CSS only. Don't add any text. Just give me code only for this game. Okay. And we all know that we can type any game name here in the text box, right? So Xamini have the overall query, something like we need to create a game that he or she need to create a game. And that game should be an HTML, CSS, and JS. And there should be no text. So we can get only the coding response. Okay. So how we can handle that code response? So for that, we are using a custom web view. So first of all, we need to create a custom web view. Okay. So scroll down and you can see the option of create a custom web view option. Just scroll down and here can see create web view. Just drag and drop it. Okay, so we will use here in a screen in initialization here the container. Container means where we need to create this. So we'll create here in the vertical arrangement. Just drag and drop the vertical arrangement. The ID you can define anything. Okay, so ID is suppose one like this. Okay, now we need to set this also. So click on custom web view. You will see the option of set web view. So scroll down. You can see the see the side web view just trying to drop it so which which uh, id we have like we have one like this this we need to set okay so that will display that web view display work on our vertical arrangement this one overall okay yeah one more thing we need to do here in that text we need to add here one more thing game okay uh create this game and game should be game should have full height and full width okay this is important right otherwise he will create a 100 by 100 pixel game okay so make sure that should be the okay now this is done now we need to get a response okay so how we can do this so go to the custom value here again and you can see uh, we have option of like we have received the we have sent the question first we need to get a response so click on first receive examine you can see the response get a response when we got a response we need to set that response in a web view okay so click on the custom web view and you will get an option of display the html okay so just scroll down load html you can see this one call this and we all know that the response is also in our html get response fantastic you created the fantastic game. Let me just show you how that will work. Okay. So I'm going to just click on connect AI companion. Let me just try on my phone here. And this is our game, right? This is the blank screen as you can see here. And this one text box. Okay. Here. And uh, in the text box, you can see the create game hint. And here's a one button create game. Okay. So let me just type any game name. Suppose uh, let's try this. And you can see this is the game we created. So we can play this game. Wow. Cool. This is the snack game something we can play. So using this, you can generate an unlimited game and play any game that you want. So this is the really fantastic app. If you have any doubt, you can ask me a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.